it's the 8th of July today and this is a sketchbook page that I've been making over the last week. Um, I decided to take the abstract themes of line, colour, edges, shapes, moods and textures and um, I set out my sketchbook with blocked in spaces which I've gradually been filling in over the time. Um, as I've noticed things around me and tried to approach things abstract in different ways. Um, I did also, as, as this page progressed, I tried to keep within um, its sort of colour scheme so that it blended together as a page and I think the mood of the overall thing is, is okay. Um, this one here was, um, I noticed it as I was um, driving past a verge with all the um, poppies in the, in the hedgerows. Um, and I was trying to go for the, the colour contrasts. Um, these two landscapes here were um, driving around in Norfolk and I just like the shapes and the colours. Um, and they, they seem, just even though they're bands of colour, they seem to have captured the mood quite well. Um, this was the packaging that came, when my work came back from Hillary, um, I, I got really excited because just the... The parcel tape over the black plastic had made beautiful patterns and I like the the blacks and the um, the, the grey and brown together and, and the patterns it's made. So I cut this little piece out. Um, I've got another piece here which I liked and again this, this piece had got an additional bit of um, clear plastic packaging over which um, added another variation as well and I've also chopped off some bits um, which I want to try printing with um, both sides because they each give different texture. Um, this one grew from um, a, pass a package that came for me um, and I just like the pattern of the labels that were stuck on um, onto the parcel so um, I cut, cut a piece off the packaging and then just worked into it with um, a red and a black um, sharpie pen. Um, it also, I also worked with um, one of those rollers of white um, correction tape um, to um, extend the lines down. Um, in some places that's made, um, for instance here, um, this has made quite a nice sort of jagged line um, and in other places it's sort of filled in and extended the whiteness so I was able to do that. Um, this piece here is a piece of the original background colour stuck on afterwards, um, so that was just pl playing around with it. Um, what was even more exciting was when I cut that piece of packaging off the front, I found that the envelope um, is filled with a sort of um, woody fluff, and um, that's on, on the reverse. So I, I flaked off as much as I could um, and put it in the bin, and then put printing ink over the um, what was left and printed that so um, that started made um, a texture which has transferred quite nicely. I like the sort of concretey colour of that. Um, it's ochre and blue um, inks. And then in order to protect that I made, I just pick, cut a piece of acetate um, to go over just to stop it fluffing and leave it, leaving ink on the other page. Um, but then having put the acetate over that then opened up possibilities for drawing onto the acetate and um, and making something more of the design by having a layer that lays over the top. Then when I flicked the acetate back to put it out of the way I realised that actually that then makes a, another pattern on, on the um, opposite page. So with this one here I deliberately worked the colours to fit round the tracing on the appetite on the acetate um, which just made a completely random pattern and this one here the the bird that I'd made over here then goes off against a different background um, and I think that this would make a it's, it's a really nice idea for a, a way to present prints is to have two complementary prints side by side with a piece of acetate in between with something on the acetate so that you actually get um, four potential images um, out of the two. So that, that's an idea um, for a construction that um, I can work into in the future.